before we get things started, bandits on the layout. He gave me 15k views, so he's getting lots of pets. Also gave me a couple subscribers. You need that right. And you've been knocking people over. Okay. Bye bye. And you can see the mess. Okay, let's go to the show on the road for real this time. Uh, we're going to bring in our first car. We're going to be looking at it today. Okay, what we got here is our Southern Railway uh, box car with graffiti and some form of weathering. Um, I believe it's on the other side. But we have our box car here. Just got this in the mail today. We have a separately applied, applied brake wheel here on the uh, box car itself. The ladders are not separately applied, but uh, nicely molded and they have uh, uh, painted them black. I believe it's nice. I believe uh, Lionel should take a note from that. Um, if you have molded in detail, at least mark it out. It looks better. Have our uh, sign here that says "Do not hump" on the side, and it says "Southern" up at the top. On the side, we got "Southern serves the South," the old slogan, and our number. These all come individually numbered. They're all different. This is forty-three seventy-six. Down here, we have the interesting part. We have the graffiti. We have uh. Just some random like drawings. Nothing obscene if you're worried about that. It says Southern gives a green light to innovation. I'll flip it on the other side. On the other side, the graffiti is actually different. And it says it gives a green light to innovation on this side as well. And I do believe these are Stickers, but I don't know if it's the same underneath, but I don't know if it's complete underneath. Then again, we have our, um, down here, I think that's like dirty and stuff on purpose. Um, it has our limits, our weight, and our, um, all the information. And again, it says, Southern serves the South. And again, we don't have a brake wheel on this end, but it still looks very nice. It also says here on the side, you can barely see it. But uh, made by Menards uh, 2020. These are new items. It makes me excited because I don't really get new items too often. Okay, let's bring in the next car. This is the one that really caught my eye and why I ordered these cars online. Thank you. Okay, what we have here is the brand new, this is really new, like it just came on the site and I ordered it. Um, this is the brand new Menards Lifesavers tank car. It is one of the new one. I think it's a unibody tank car. It's one of the brand new ones. Um, this is the first run of these cars that they've done. This thing is loaded with details. I don't know if it's a rip of something or an MTH or a Lionel product, but it's very nice. On this car, I gotta actually get some of the pointed out. We have uh, the we have legible um, little fire diamonds there. Don't know what they would be calling in this. That would be like very flammable, but we have them on here, and we have one up this side too. And they're on the other side as well. What we have here is our uh, little, what do you call this thing? Crow's nest? Well, not really a crow's nest, but something up top there. That's where they put in the fluids. And you got your ladder coming down the side here. It's very nice. And you have your, um, I guess this would just be rigging of some kind to stabilize the tank car on the bottom here. Very nice. And it's all silver, the trucks are silver, the trucks are silver, the everything that is uh, metal except for the couplers on this car silver. We got some metallics on the end along with the Lifesavers logos. 
on each end. And this, again, is a, there's none of these alike. There's the number down here, and mine is 6839. Flip this around. And it's just about the same on the other side. Again, we have our fire diamonds here and here, and a um, separately applied uh, grab on up uh, brake wheel and long grab irons on here, too. And this is really interesting. This car is the same price as the others, but uh, has more detail than that box car back there. I'm going to flip it around again because I have an issue with this. Uh, just, just a small one. It's more like a grudge. There's a small uh, chip in our uh, writing there. And it does have a couple scratches, but you can't really tell. Well, there's one there. There's a couple of scratches on this thing. And what made me want this, um, if you uh, know, if you're a Lionel collector, um, these tank cars are actually of inspiration from something. Lionel, I think in the early 2000s or late 90s, made a lifesaver tank car. It was a little different. It had a, it wasn't a unibody car. It was just a single dome tanker, like the one that they equip in train sets and stuff now. And... It, on eBay, last time I saw and uh, variants of it, were going for well over $100, even out of the box. So I think Bernard's had the idea, if people want these tank cars, but they might want them for a little bit of a better value, or for cheaper. And for both of the, well, actually just the tank car, for the tank car, I paid $20. And it came with a mail-in rebate, at the moment they have one going on. And it was $2 something for each car. And I ended up picking this, well, getting this car for $20. But now we have the rebate, which I can use at a later date. And the uh, Southern Barks car was uh, is normally $25, but it had a uh, rebate as well. Anyway, these are very good priced cars for what they are. A little couple of blemishes on there, but... It's nothing a little bit of ignorance can't solve. And we're going to get to uh, running these cars. Oh, wait, shoot. I meant to mention. It does appear this one has a little bit of an issue with its truck. That might be able to fix it. Man, got it. And I just got that back fitting in there. Yeah, these cars don't come perfect. Well, they're pretty nice. And with G-Scale, they have a rule called the 10-foot rule. I call it the 5-foot rule, or the 4-foot uh, rule with O-Gage. So if it looks okay from 4 foot away, that's fine. Okay, we're going to get to running these now.
Okay, just some final remarks on these items. I believe they're great items for their price. Um, at $20 for the tank car, uh, minus any mail-in rebate they're going, they're having right now. And $25 for the graffiti slash weathered boxcar. And they have other weathered boxcars. If I would make any suggestions on uh, new road names or whatever to uh, graffiti boxcar with, I would suggest a Conrail or a Penn Central. And for the tank car, I would make a suggestion to do um, like a soda company, like maybe uh, Mountain Dew or even Pepsi would be really nice. Or if they could do this on Metallic Shine, I don't like it myself, but if uh, you get a Diet Pepsi, I think that'd be cool. Um, and that, uh, this was, uh, very nice items, and thank you for watching.